Are you looking to set up your Google Nest Wi-Fi router? I just got one, this little guy right here. I wanna show you guys how to set it up in this video. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and need to set up in our house. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So in the previous video, I did an unboxing of these because my old router went kaput, and so I needed to get a new one. And so we got the Google uh, Nest Hub, uh, not Hub, this is a Wi-Fi router, and uh, it comes with the cord to plug it in, comes with the ethernet cable, which I don't think we're gonna be using because we already have a pre ethernet cable from our previous uh, Wi-Fi router already right there. And then uh, we have the instruction manual here, which we can kind of go over to make sure that we got everything correct. So let's go ahead and open that up first. It says, let's get started. And then basically setting up, uh, plug in your router. All right, let's do that, let's plug it in. Got our plug right down here. Getting tangled, tangled mess, and plug that in right there, down there. And we're gonna plug in the router right here. There's a little power port right on the bottom here in the middle of the two ethernet ports. I really like how they have this little cutout right here so that all the cords just kind of fit through there. It's really nice, give it a nice sleek look. All right, so we got that. And then the next one is to get the Google Home app uh, download Google Home app. Okay, actually, I'm gonna. I think you need. We need to go ahead and plug in our Ethernet as well. You want to do the one with the world, the little, uh, the little uh, Earth thing looking thing there, because if you don't, that's uh, the other one's just to like link up a printer or something like that, uh, or a NAS maybe. So let's go ahead and plug that guy in. Got a little light blinking right there. That's a good sign. Go ahead and put that down. Now let me get my phone, and I already have the Google Home app because we have some other Google products and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that to open it, and it usually, it just finds the device. Uh, let's see, set up two devices right there. Boom. In the home, next, looking for devices. So now it's gonna look for the devices. While that's doing that, I can go over this. They do have a little pamphlet in here about being a part of your home means respecting your privacy. So they have some information about uh, the privacy and how the microphone works because this also has the Google Assistant built in, which I like because I like to play music everywhere throughout the house. So they give you a little bit of information about what they got going on there. Um, okay, so now we came here. We have our Google Home Mini. We have our Nest Hub, which is our display in there. And then we have a Nest Wi-Fi router. We wanna go ahead and click that, and we're gonna hit Next. And camera permission, okay, we're gonna scan the code. So there is a allow, we're gonna allow the camera to take a picture. And there's a QR code on the back of this router right here. You just wanna hold your camera up to, man, that thing found it super fast. Already got the scan done. So now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi router. This is what it looks like. A uh, device to use with home. Yes, connect. So now it's just uh, thinking. <laughs> That's what I call it whenever it's doing this little thing right there. It's thinking. <laughs> and device to use with home, set up, yep, connect. Okay, so now it's setting up 9B, whatever it was. Connection successful, connected. It's asking where the device is. And that's so that whenever you use your voice to do certain things, it'll know exactly where you are. So this is in the living room. And we're gonna hit next. And we're gonna create a name. Let's see, we'll do our other YouTube channel, our travel channel. We'll call it that, why not? And a password, you're gonna fill out a password. I'm not gonna tell you guys our password because you don't need to know our passwords. Turn on Wi-Fi router and point usage stats. Um, I usually turn this on. You can turn them off at any other time. Uh, turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud services. Um, yeah, I'm in. And now it's gonna create that Wi-Fi network for you so that you can connect all of your devices to your Wi-Fi. This is Google's little like loading screen right here. It says almost done. I'm getting notifications. <laughs> Means that we might be getting connected up. Oh yeah, that was an email saying that the Wi-Fi router has been connected to my, um, to my account. 
gathering a few more things, creating the Wi-Fi network. And then this last piece of paper that they give you, by the way, oh, uh, connect family, connect phone to the travel vlog family on the next screen, select travel vlog family and enter your password. So I'm gonna hit connect. I'm gonna find that Wi-Fi that we just created. And then we're going to connect. Boom, Cont obtaining the IP address. This is the warranty information as well. They give you, you know, just like with any other product, if you guys want to pause the video, y'all can read that. Um, but you can also find that online. We are all connected, hit done. Finalizing the network, adding the finishing touches, Wi-Fi network created, boom. Setting up multiple devices, look like you have a three pack. Yes, I do, I do need to do the extra Wi-Fi point. So now we're gonna place, we're gonna follow the directions to set up our Wi-Fi point, which is in the kitchen. Uh, Wi-Fi points work best when there are when there are no more than two rooms apart from each other or the Wi-Fi router. To use the assistant, Put the Wi-Fi point in a place where you can easily talk to it. Okay, so first of all, we probably need to go plug it in. So I'm going to take you guys off my tripod here and let's go down on over to the kitchen. And we're going to do this. You want to tell them hi? Hi! <laughs> Daddy, what's that? Hold on, let me finish this. What's that one thing? I'll talk to you about it in a minute. Is it another Google? Okay, so we have another plugger in her right here. We're going to take our... Little clippy clip right off of there. Clippy clip. And we're going to take, there's two of them usually. Two. And like as I said in a previous video, you want to keep these if you need to wind up your cord a little bit. You can use these as a cord holder mm -hmm. so that you don't have cord everywhere, uh, all over your counters or wherever you put in your, your uh, access points. Okay. So let me go ahead and plug in this little guy right here. Let's see, we're going to take this down. And we're gonna plug in that. This is Google. And then this is the <laughs> access point for the extra Wi-Fi so that you get longer distances. Plug that in. Right there. Now, place your Wi-Fi point. Okay, we already read that. Next, plug in your Wi-Fi point. Make sure it's plugged into a power outlet. Wait around 45 seconds until you hear a chime before continuing. So we're waiting for the chime. We've got some lights on the bottom, which is fun. That's Google, right? Yep. Yes. What All happened right. to the old screen? It's still there. Oh. So we're waiting for the chime. I haven't heard any. Oh. oh. Uh, there it is. Okay. So we heard the chime. Let's hit. Oh. Hi. To get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Got it. Okay. Let's hit next. Looking for devices. See that? There we go. Looking for devices. All right. Nest Wi-Fi point found. Would you like to set up this device? Yes. Very self-explanatory. Very easy to set up this mesh Wi-Fi uh, router. So I definitely am finding it. I've used the Google Home app before, like I said, to set up some of the other things. And it's always super simple. It's literally just pointing and clicking to get to where you need to go. Uh, to get it set up. It says, connecting to the Nest Wi-Fi point, your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Okay, and then I just, just changed to connected. We got the sound. Uh, did you hear a sound? Yes, we did. Uh, additional legal terms, agree. You guys read those? <laughs> uh, help improve Google's Wi-Fi products? Yeah, sure, why not for a little bit. And this one's going to be in the kitchen. Kitchen, next. Now it's going to connect to that Wi-Fi that we just created in the other room over there so that it can mesh together and we can have strong internet in the kitchen and in the living room. It says connected now. All the little things are lining up. Uh, adding a Wi-Fi point to your Wi-Fi network. Did I say the Google thing? No, don't. Why? I'll tell you after I'm done. Okay. Uh, adding a Wi-Fi point to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, still thinking. Give it some time to think. It's got to do his thinking thing. Thank you, thank you. Do you guys have any Google products? Let me know down in the comments below. I've really been enjoying this Google Pixel phone. I've got the Mini uh, and I've got the Google Hub. Uh, they, I just find that they work really well. We just had the Nest thermostat too. Okay, the Wi-Fi point had been added. Hit next. And before using your Google Assistant, here are a few things you should know before using your Nest Wi-Fi point. Google Partners services and privacy, 
and guests and your assistant. So there's some more information. Uh, I'm just gonna hit next and we'll go on to the next thing. It's loading up everything. <coughs> Looks like we got the email saying that the new device was added to the Google account, which is what we wanted. And then now you can set up the voice control because this one does have the Google Assistant in there. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, next, I agree. Okay, it looks like you've already set up Google Voice with your Google Assistant on another device. The previous recordings can be used to make a voice model on this device. This should take less than a minute. So I guess, I think it's using what it already knows about our voice to, um, to create a profile for this access point, which is awesome. Because that means you don't have to go through a bunch of mess. Okay, get personal results with your voice. Should I do it? Um, I'm gonna hit I agree. Just a second, okay, address, yep, okay. confirm it. And we already have the default, mu you can set your default music service. I use Google Play Music, because I've, I've used a lot, I've burned a lot of my uh, CDs into there. But there's Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, YouTube Music. Hit next, link a radio service, I don't have Sirius SM. And then you can link all your like Netflix and Hulu and CBS and Stars and all that type of stuff, Sling TV. I don't have any of that. Get started with voice calls. Oh, okay, using Google Duo. Uh, I'm not gonna set that one up now. Kitchen Wi-Fi is ready, hit continue. Done, boom. So now we have super awesome Wi-Fi in the kitchen on a mesh network so that we can have awesome internet all over the house, which is what we want. If this guy, if, if, you, if this helped you guys, please share this on Facebook. I definitely appreciate that. And I'm gonna put an, the unboxing video of this stuff right here on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated. And dad out.